Hi guys, how are you? I'm Tomáš Gregovský from Magnolia. And if you are a front-end developer working with Magnolia, so am I, you already know what it means to create templates. No matter if with YAML or all JCR, we still have to manually create deep structures with definitions in the right locations and using proper IDs to reference each other. It takes a lot of time and in my case it's usually not without at least one type or misplace. But now it's over. I would like to show you how to make your work much easier, faster and less error prone. Let's have a look on awesome Magnolia CLI tool for a few minutes. CLI stays for command line interface, which means to run commands in terminal. But that's not an issue since web developers nowadays are really familiar with using a terminal for work. So are you ready? Let's go. Well, this tool is mainly designed to help with templating, but I can use CLI also to download and set up Magnolia. And it's so easy. Let's start in empty directory, open terminal, and just execute mgnl jumpstart. Okay. I have skipped part about how to install CLI, but please follow up links below this video for more information about CLI itself, including installation. What you see right now is the downloading of the latest Magnolia CE version. OK, it's downloaded and configured, ready to use. I have Apache Tomcat folder over here and empty light modules folder, which I will later use for my new templates. Let's start Magnolia now with simple command mgnl start. For this video, we made installation part faster, but important thing is that we didn't skip any configuration or any else steps between. The jump start command I used before did all configuration for me so far. So now, I have fresh installation of Magnolia, configured to look for new templates in light modules folder. And now let's unleash real power of CLI tool. Navigate to light modules folder and use CLI to create a new light module. All basic structure for my light module is automatically generated, which means I don't have to create every single folder by myself. OK, let's do more. Let's create a new page template. First navigate to CLR demo light module and create a page demo page. Just like this. And as you may see, all files for my page were just generated. And also as you may see in log over here, Magnolia already registered them. So let's have a look into Magnolia. I am going to add a page. My page template is already available, so I will choose it. And we'll name it a demo page and add extra title my demo page. And as you may see, demo page works. Yeah, it does. But why we see this message? Because that's something what CLI generates for me and I only have to go and play with it. For example, change that string to real page title. Just open a page FTL. Here you may see default message. So let's change it to content of title. And reload a page. Other than that, CLI generates page dialog, which if you're familiar with, STK is a basic page dialog I can use for the page titles, meta keywords, etc. Based on project, I can use it, add it, or update it. The point is, I don't have to write these mostly same dialog fields for every new project page again and again by myself. Going back to page FTL, and you may see there is a big code block which is commented out not to be rendered. And that's because these are three examples how to load resources on page. For now, I will use the simplest one and that's the new resfn, aka resources templating function. This simple function with this regex pattern will load all CSS resources from my CLI demo module. That's fine for me now, so let's drop some in. As a proof, let's change HTML a bit. For example, add Jumbotron around H1. Reload a page and here we go. Okay, page template with resources is done. That was easy, wasn't it? So let's move forward and add a component. MGNL create component list dash dash available or just short dash A and name of the page where I want to have list available pages slash demo page, in my case, and enter. Now, let's have a deeper look what was generated. 
well, first that availability parameter. This makes components available on my demo page, as you may see over here. And because I didn't specify area, which I may, then by default it goes to main area. And also because this area doesn't exist yet, it also adds code to render area into page in FTL just at the end of the file. And I just have to move it where I want it. Now let's have a look on generated component itself. YAML definition is quite straightforward. Mostly it's just reference a dialog and where template script is. Let's have a look on a dialog now. As you may see over here, dialog already contains six fields and these for me are the most used fields in every project. Like text fields, link field to DAM, rich text field, link to website, multi-value and option. And it's so easy to remove which I don't need, duplicate or mix some of them. Component FTL also already works with these six fields. So just generated component like this, I can immediately use on a page. And here are default fields in the dialog. I may use them for purpose of this demo, but let's have fun and let's play around for my list component. Let's keep just the multi-value and combine it with text field. Remove all other fields. Move text field into multi-value. And rename it to list. OK, let's change also free marker. Render it as UL and LI. Rename it from categories to list. Same as I did in the dialog. And use some bootstrap classes to style it a bit, since either a bootstrap CSS file already in. So now let's add list into page again. Well, I should change field label too, but please ignore it for now. So just enter some list entries. And here we go. Done. Just imagine if I will have to do it without CLI. I will probably not be able to type it all from scratch. I will probably spend a couple of minutes just on documentation page and try to copy paste something out of there. And this was just small demo, but imagine it in project with dozens of pages and components. CLI does save a lot of time in this case. There is a bunch of other commands or optional parameters you can use. You can also customize local configuration to change light module structure, how generated files would look like, or which version of Magnolia you want to download. Anytime you're not sure, you may just enter mgnl-help. If you're interested, please check out the documentation page. Link is below this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask here on the YouTube or just let me know your feedback. Or simply just click on that small thumbs up somewhere over there so I don't have to do it by myself. Thank you and see you next time.